Well, hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Victoria 3 game. But it's not just any game, you all were overwhelmingly telling me in the comments that we needed to continue the story of Belgium. The story of Belgium taking over everything. Which, to that end, we are, um, we're kind of spending a lot of money in that regard. But look at us, we have a stupidly high power ranking here. We are better than the United States, despite having less than half the number of people, but we have half again the GDP. A lot of which is now being pumped into our military. Because as Belgium, we have 100 regular divisions or battalions. Which mind you, if we're looking at military, France has 328, Britain 285, Germany 396, right? So if you're looking at, say, Switzerland has 10, Netherlands 19, Denmark 17, Sweden slash Norway, together combined they have a good, you know, 80 something. We are practically on the verge of being a great power, but we can't because we are in a customs union with Great Britain, which is the thing that is propping up our economy. Simultaneously, Germany wants us to accept something to become part of their customs union. Which I'm not sure how about I feel about this market stability, considering that everything is kind of on fire in Germany right now. Now the thing is, if I had built a normal economy, I'd say sure, yeah, you know, if I just built myself up as my own thing for Belgium, sure, I would have joined the Germans. But no, the moment that you do this, considering that I've built everything for my economy surrounding the British, I will absolutely screw myself if I switch now. Proposal for a defensive pact with the Germans? Really? I will actually accept that, yes. And my game crashed with the moment that I accepted the defensive pact, God damn it. Okay, we reached the exact same point again. Germany, yes, I will accept. We can't exactly, uh, go on any kind of attack while our country is currently devastated. Or request Spain, I'm not joining your customs union. I very much doubt that that can compare to the British one. No. We're actually clawing our way back into the positives. No! Germany, I'm not joining your customs union. New parties form the Liberal Party and the Belgian's Workers' Party. Wait, is the ra are the radicals done? No way, did the radicals actually kind of falter? Oh my god, they did. Okay, okay, we might actually be stabilizing our politics now. And we are finally back in the positives. <laughs> we are making so much money. Bread, butter, ballot with the price of groceries soaring across the country. The Liberal Party is under... It, wait, they're under attack? Why would the Liberals say just eat something else? They're not like the... What? What? The Royalists? Is that even a faction? That's not even a faction in here. But I don't care. Let's weaken you. I don't really care. I want to see what we get next. I'm not even shooting for necessarily anything. The Workers Party. Oh, the Workers Party is the one that's in charge. Am I gonna end up going communist? <laughs> Everyone is equal in Belgium, all right? Including the Dutch, amazingly enough. Civilizing mission unlocked. Um, I actually don't think that I'm getting much territory here in Africa. Universal suffrage, lovely. And it looks like the industrialists are rather upset with us, actually. Oh my god, I could actually produce silk now. Yes, absolutely, let's drive down that cost. That's gonna make things so much cheaper for our clothing, though. Oh, nylon, you beautiful, beautiful thing, you. Oh, but dear God, hardwood. Oh my God, now because we're producing so much electricity, so much coal, all of our coal power plants are so valuable. Wait, why are Swedish people migrating to Kenya? What? Hell on earth. Wait, workers in the rubber plantation in Belgium South are being severely mistreated. Mutilation is... No, 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 guys, 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 guys. I know we're Belgian, right? But we can be better. The perpetrators will pay for their crimes. Absolutely, it's gonna hurt our rubber production a little bit, but that will allow us to at least protect more people and continue to producing rubber. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> we now have wage subsidies. Okay, wait, are we, are we communist? No, we still have a king. We're still a constitutional monarchy, I, I think. Pan-nationalism. Um, <laughs> oh God, we're gonna get spicy in this world, I think. Okay, at some point it stopped recording. I don't know when, but it's literally been like four years and we are at 104,000 per, like, day that we're making as Belgium. This is ridiculous. God, wait a minute. Hold on. My population is so wealthy. So despite the fact that the lead mines are ridiculously productive, we quite literally don't have enough poor people for them to make money. Are you kidding me? All right, now that electricity is actually starting to become cheaper, I think that we can look at switching things over. Because, hey, now look at this. Automatic power looms, all of a sudden, making more money. Liberal, the Liberal Party actually won. We don't want the communists. That's a thing that we're gonna do. Okay, so the Communist Party actually got a ton of votes, and that's the trade unions. They're still technically in power, they're loyal to me, but we don't want them. So if I got rid of the communists, and I instead brought in, what, the petit bourgeoisie, would that help? No. The armed forces want to join the communists. Buddy, no, that's not what we want. We wanna kick the communists out, uh-uh. 
no, 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 no. We are not having a communist revolution. Absolutely no. We are now suppressing the trade unions. Because I think that's all that we really can do in this situation. God, my computer sound like it's about to take off right now. All right, we got mechanized farms. How about nitrogen fixation? I don't know. We're just going to boost, and then I think we're going to hard focus on military because we're going to do some conquering. All right, tractors. Yes, that's what we want. Mechanized slaughterhouses. Oh, baby, we're just, we're increasing everything. Whoo, mechanization of farming, baby. Distribute the surplus food to the poor, plus three minimum wealth. Could yields be even higher? Do I want that? Listen, I don't want the poor to get even more power. I hate to say that right now, considering everything that we've been done, but I'm genuinely afraid that we're going to have some kind of communist revolution. So let's instead increase yield, right? Let's, let's just go for that. Actually, wait, I realize I'm doing all this construction to expand my glassworks and the other things, but I'm not actually making them more efficient. I'm just building them up so that potentially when I switch to electricity, that's going to drain a massive amount of money. Instead, why don't we just drastically expand the power plants? I I'm going to run a test. I got four in here. No, we're going to bump this up to 15, right? We're just going to drastically increase how much electricity we're producing, and then we're going to start trying to electrify the entire country. And then that means we're going to need a ton more coal. There's just so much we need. We're going to make electricity as stupidly cheap as we possibly can. Like, that's the entire point of this. Just so many power plants. That's all we want to do. We want to drive down the market price of electricity. Because the more that we can do so, the more that we'll be able to produce. Nomadic tools. Sure, let's do it. Oh, the power plants are finally starting to lose money. Okay, so if they're not making enough because there's not enough demand, that means that electricity is cheap, which means I can finally go over here and I should be able to switch over my stuff to start using more electricity. Textile mills, electric sewing machine, that would drastically increase the cost of electricity. But I'd be losing money too. Automatic glass blowing, tools workshop. Holy crap, there it is. If I switch over to electric street lights. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what we're going to want to do. Way more services, drive that cost way down. And now the power plants are all of a sudden making a ton of money again. Let's see, cost of services, that now drove the cost of services way down so everyone can afford services. Oh, electricity is so nice. But power is going down again. We're still building some more. So let's switch over to chemical fertilizers. Chemical fertilizers produce even more. And let's see, the power plants are now losing money again. Actually, wait, maybe I should stop. Maybe I should stop producing and just check. No, nope, we're already building it. It's too late. It's happening. Okay. Well, let's just go and switch. I know we're technically going to be losing money, but we're going to produce a lot more clothing, which is going to be helpful, and we'll go electric sewing machines. At least it said that it was going to hurt things. Is it actually producing even more? It looks like it is. Oh my god, it actually is. That is producing a lot. Oh my god, my average standard of living is now 20. <laughs> they are doing great. Our soldiers regularly perform maneuvers near the border of France. Having the troops parade would be a good display of power. Wait, hold on. If I do this, it will give me infamy? No, no. We'll give Diplomatic Incident in Rhine giving 26 Infamy to France and reducing their relations with 13 country. Oh, fuck yeah, let's do it. Give them that Infamy. Make France have a bad time. Yes. Wait, I think that bumped us up now. We are now the number eight great power. We can't actually become a great power, though, because we're in a customs union. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. God, we're making so much money. <laughs> So I think this is it. We are building up all these things with our minds. We're getting everything prepared. We're making a stupid amount of money. I think it's time we once again boost our military just to prepare. Form a defensive pact with Britain? Yeah? Oh, wait, I think I missed it. Form a defensive pact. With yeah, I'll form a defensive pact with Britain. Sure. Are they rivaled with anyone? They are also rivaled with Germany. We were kind of aligning ourselves with Germany. Look, I'll take a defensive pact with you both. Protect me. I don't care. They, they, you're not going to be able to do anything necessarily, okay? No one can touch me. The Belgians are invincible. So while we're building this up, let's go ahead and support the military because we, we need to get as much of this built in here as we can. It is 1883, so let's see. We don't need anything for Navy. Concrete dockyards? No. No, 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 no. We want bolt-action rifles. Yes. We're going to focus hard into military production because in the next year or two, we're going to go and attack the Netherlands, finally. Oh boy, we are shedding that income fast now that we're focusing on military. <laughs> bolt-action rifle. There it is. Okay. We have that. Do we also want to get the automatic machine gun? That could actually be a really nice thing. Unlocks trench infantry for barracks. Yeah, we have to. We have to. We got to get the trench infantry before we get anything else, just so that they're better. The better that we can make our infantry, if we can get this and then the next thing, we'll be set. We'll be, we'll, we will be ready so far ahead of time before this war actually breaks out. I have a feeling it's also going to be big. Oh, the steel mill is actually productive again. Liberal Party, the communists are getting stronger. Please, no. I don't want the communists in power. <laughs> We're suppressing them, baby. Come on. 
Also, a total separation of church and state. Here we go. We want to be able to accept the religions because we're going to be conquering states that are Protestant, so we do want to be able to do that. Whew, we are losing so much money through just investing in the military. Well, crap, our authority is now not exactly good, so we need to stop suppressing the communists. I hope to God that they don't take more strength, please. We have zeppelins. Oh boy, we have zeppelins now. Wait, conveyors? Did I just get conveyors? Oil. Dear Lord, we need oil. I don't have any oil. Oh my God, everything is becoming unproductive because of electricity. You are not going to crash my economy right now before everything is done, dear lord. Assembly lines require oil. We don't have any oil. Trench works unlocked. Oh, we actually got it? Okay, okay. I mean, since that is about to finish, we can focus on automatic machine guns. Because, baby, I think it's almost time for war. All right, we got war propaganda. Awesome. Money-wise, we are still really hurting. What is our gold reserves, actually? Asset, 16.6 .6 million. Okay, we, we have a lot. We have a lot of money. But also at the same time, I don't want to be hurting this badly. There we go. As we finish off the electricity, we start investing in building up glass, which in turn means that we start making money again from investments. All right, good. It's exactly what we want. Because now instead of skirmisher infantry, we have trench infantry, which gives us way better offense and defense, but we're not going to capture provinces nearly as quickly. Actually, I kind of wonder what is the technology of Russia to say... Wait, is Brit Britain is at war with Germany? Why? What happened? What did I miss? Great Britain versus the North German Confederation. Over what? That means I wouldn't be able to rely on either of them for help with my war against Russia. Crap. Because I mean, come on. Look at the Netherlands. Look at this sick little boy. They're protected by Russia, which has a total GDP of 66.8 million. That's it. I, as Belgium, have a GDP of 132 million. I have doubled the GDP of Russia. Not to mention over double the literacy rate. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. It's 1889, and they're still using line infantry? Oh, my lord. All right, but now before we go ahead and get this war started, I forgot that we need to make sure that we get some naval bases built, so that that way we'll actually be able to, you know, get a fleet to invade things. And now that the shipyards are built, let's go ahead and check and see what we got. A admiral who is a cocaine addict, which apparently makes him popular, but also destroys his health with very expensive tastes. Yeah, no thank you. Let's get the reserved guy. Let's see, I don't think that I can actually do anything here until this guy goes and gets his ships built? Are they just being built over time or something? I guess they are. Commanding four flotil- Okay, yeah, so I need to wait until I have an actual navy built up before I can invade anything. Great. Well, I guess we just strengthen the economy then. All right, political agitation. That's done. Voting for women. Sure, why not? Let's- We're gonna engage in war, but why not also do feminism? Suffragist march? Yeah, their protests must be heard. Absolutely. So you know what? Politics, laws, what, we, what can we do here? Property women, no, 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 no. I don't even know why I didn't do this before here, all right? Women's suffrage, yes. That's what we want. We, we, we want to support this shit. The women can work while the men go die in the battlefield. It's just as God intended. <laughs> Wait, I got siege artillery. <gasps> oh, that's even better. Pasteurization then, because that means military. Where do we go here? Garrisons for the regular troops. Shrapnel artillery? No. Siege artillery. Even more powerful. More technology. We have like advanced, very advanced artillery here in 1891. Oh boy. Suffrage rally. We risk a little violence. No, no, no. We'll scale it back. We'll scale it back. Women's rights are important, but not so important that people need to get hurt over it. It, 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 it is what it is, guys. Don't, don't, don't question it. Don't question it. Got 11. We're still not done. Do I need to expand the shipyards even more? New form parties, the Rexist and the Patriotic Party. The Patriotic Party. Okay, that's, that should be fun. Constitutional monarchy of conscience. The far left and far right politic parties in Belgium has led liberal parties to portray themselves as the voice of reason in the upcoming elections. Well, yeah, yeah, of course that is. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that that's what it is, because otherwise, what are we, what are we looking at politics-wise? The Re is the Rexes the fascists? Um, not gonna lie, I'm kind of concerned there. Fringe group violence. Oh my lord, no! Women, why are you going crazy and breaking things? Stop it! I just want to give you rights! Please stop ruining things! Fifteen flotillas, okay, we're... We're getting this built up here. We're actually getting a navy together here. Just need to get all this done. This is years later than I actually planned on any of this happening now. I'm, I'm actually kind of annoyed. The Liberal Party with 70% of the votes. That's right. International Stock Exchange. Lovely. All right, got 17 flotillas. We're getting those built. 
I have no idea how quickly these actually get built or really what way it works. I do know that these things are being built, it seems like, every year or so, though. There's 18. If I can just get this built up a little bit more, then we'll be ready. Playwright endorses form. Yes, that's what we want. I'm just trying to get women rights before I kill everything. Combustion en engine unlocked. Oh, now my bureaucracy. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, it's actually gonna hurt me. Okay, there's all of my ships. It's like so much further than I actually plan on that happening, but I think we can finally fight now. Note to self, for future games, always make sure to build things well ahead of time, apparently. You, you just have to plan, I guess. And now the Ottomans want to defense a pack with me. Buddy, I don't even know anymore, all right? It feels like we're just forming networks of alliances that eventually are all gonna come crashing down. And now we have women's suffrage, right before potentially everything burns to the ground. Lovely stuff. You know what I realized? The Netherlands may be protected by a number of powers who don't care, but France is not protected at all. So by declaring them as my rival, now what I should then be able to do is go and conquer some states. And since I'm interested in large parts of France, because I mean, listen, I'm Belgian, I, they, they, I speak some French, you know, I got some Catholic in me, definitely. I think that we, we should, we should be together. Just like back in the Napoleonic days, you know? So just out of curiosity then, I'm just wondering if I could do this. Conquer the state for Picardy. Just see, just see what happens. Uh, just see, just see what happens, potentially, you know? Like maybe if I just took the north part of this, would that matter? Spain would help me. So Spain has agreed to help me. Britain has agreed to help me. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. And my computer just crashed again. Okay, we're back in, but this front is looking a little bit dicey from what it is that I can see. We are going to be supported by the Spanish and the British. Maybe if I could take one more. Will they allow me to take one more? Champagne, perhaps? Will that cause anyone to leave? No, they're not leaving. Oh, but wow. Portugal is bound to Spain and is trying to get independence. Oh my god. That is actually looking like that would be very interesting once that actually breaks out. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is getting a little bit bigger. Oh, now they're trying to switch up the sides here, too. So let's see. Wait. Here we go, boys. War. Hello, Frenchies. This is going to be in the year 1895. The British and the Belgians and the Spanish are all trying to triple team France. The entrenched front, uh, we cannot let our defenses stagnate. All right, we got that. That's going to update our defense. Awesome. Militarily, what's next? A dreadnought? No, 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 no. What we're going to need is chemical warfare. The friendliest thing. Actually, no, we're going to switch back. Defend, defend. I don't want to push here yet. So it looks like they're withdrawing some troops and they're setting them up over here on my side again. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this means that we'd be able to push on any one of these sides. We can knock out Portugal first. That would allow them to help. God, we are losing so much money so fast, though. Oh, that is not fun. We just need to hold out. They are fighting all around them. If the Spanish can take out the Portuguese here, then we'll be able to do this. Oh, God, that is also a lot of tax, too. We might need to go ahead, decrease the budget. No. Oh, boy. We're gonna need to raise taxes. I'm sorry. We, we have to. We have to raise taxes. I know it's not fun. The French are trying to attack, and they're just getting slaughtered now. Wait, how many died in that battle? Oh, my God. 30,000. Yes, they are really trying on the attack now. Oh, okay. Okay. If they want to try another one over here. 250 defense versus this. Oh, my God. It's a slaughter. It is an utter slaughter. Oh, dear God. Failed attack details. How many men died over the course of a week? Oh, that's a lot. That's that's a lot. A lot died. Where are the British? Are they not helping? Or they're fighting down here in Africa, I guess. All right. Interesting. Another battle. Oh, my God. They're trying it again. They're trying it again and just getting slaughtered. Oh, my God. They're trying again. They're just getting utterly cream. 36 days. Another 40,000 men dead for the... uh. For the French. More dead. Oh my lord. Equality is part of our intellectual tradition. There you go. We're feminists, baby. Let's do it. They're going for another attack, aren't they? Oh boy, they are. They are. If my economy can just outlast theirs, we are we are slaughtering them on this side. International telephone exchange? Yeah, absolutely. We we want that with Britain. Sure. We definitely do. God, the French are splitting themselves all along the side. They have expended so many more resources than I have, though. Oh, this is, this is, this is brutal. Also, where the hell are the British in all of this? They're down here. Okay. All right, good, good, good. As long as they stay on the defensive, we'll be fine. They're doing okay. We are staying ahead of the game. It's another invasion that is just getting utterly slaughtered. This is like multiple battles in a row of just the French getting brutally killed. 
Check out this battle rating. Victory, 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 victory. It's just creaming them. What I don't understand is, are they not losing any battalions? Like, are they not getting destroyed when this happens? Are they having to then recruit new battalions, which is costing them money, so it's getting worse for them? Because by this time now, they've spent 46 million pounds. Wait, is Spain out of the war now? Dear Lord, we are, we are killing so many of them. All right, so Spain lost the war. They had to capitulate and give up Portugal. So is Portugal still in this? Yeah, Portugal is still involved. Yeah, so that's, that's the thing. Wait, what just happened? Britain was forced to give up. So now I'm on my own. Did that just happen? Am I seriously now on my own? They can't break through. They're just dying by the hundreds of thousands. Oh God, now we're, we're slaughtering the Italians now. Oh boy. Peace deal proposed. There is a proposed deal for peace in France. So what is the peace? So, so wait a minute, hold on. In the end here, I, Great Britain and Spain both capitulated, right? So they're out, they're knocked out. They're not participating in the war. I as Belgium managed to hold off the French, the Italians and the Portuguese. And the only thing that I have to do is give up Portugal, let Spain release Portugal, and then I get this. Yeah, damn right I'm doing that. Are you kidding me? Peace treaty. There it is. Congratulations, Belgium. You're now significantly bigger. Holy crap. Look at what we just did. Almost doubling our population. And all it took was killing most of France's population. Portugal is free from Spain. We now have a huge swath over France. And look at how thick this is, boy. Oh my god, so many more. So many more radicals, though. They are, they're not exactly happy about that now. Look at what we got. This is beautiful. The United... Wait, what? When the hell did the United States of America control large swaths of Africa? What are you doing? You haven't even taken out Mexico yet, you crazy person. And now you gotta fix all the economies and buildings of the places that you just took over. Because we're, we're kind of severely hemorrhaging money right now. This is actually really bad. All right, where is most of my money going? The majority of it is going to military buildings. Okay, um, good to know that I actually can't support any of this stuff. So I'm gonna destroy all of those ports there in, uh, in Picardy, because I, I, I can't afford it. And we're just, we're just gonna do this to try and fix the economy a little bit. Okay, minus 39,000, not as bad. We are, we're getting there, we're getting there. Government wages is still very high, okay. We're trying, we're trying. Okay, we're down to minus 20k instead of 200k. I think we did it. I think that's a huge boost. We are we are really working on getting this stuff taken care of now. Okay. I do need to reduce my military though. Military spending down. Needs to go way down. We're gonna destroy a bunch of those buildings. And now we're in the positives. Okay. Hell on earth. No, perpetrators are gonna pay for their crimes. Listen, we take over everything, not exactly peacefully, but ish. Oh wow, my lower strata is getting quite poor now. I say quite poor, it's just, they're not as wealthy as they once were. Alright, if we cut our military, there we go, by a good 25-30%, now we're looking a little bit stronger. Alright, that was, uh, that was actually kind of worrisome there. Oh, okay. There we go, finally, in the positives. And guys, we, we did it. We, we had to delete, you know, 25% of our army. There's very possibly a, uh, secessionist movement that is on the rise with all the people that are here. But we need to embrace multiculturalism, and then I think we're set. Okay, now I think we can start to lower taxes here, because I think we were we were really hurting our people there, but we kind of had to. Oh my god, so many lower classes. We were at like 21 for our lower classes. They were so happy, and then just most of their wealth, gone. And now look at that. We take over these parts of France. Our GDP skyrocketed. We are now number two in the entire world. We are still power rank 9 because we are in the British Customs Union. But the only GDP that is like ahead of us here is France. We have a greater GDP than Great Britain as Belgium in their own customs union. We are the dominant partner. This should now be called the Belgian market. It really should because there's there's literally no reason for it not to be. A strike? Oh god. Open negotiations with the strikers. The strikes must be suppressed. Uh They'll have to pass a law or expand an institution favorable to the trade unions. Fine, okay. Workplace safety. That'll make him happy. Breton uprising begins conscription. The Breton uprising? Oh. Oh, France. Could I, could I support them? Actually, at this point, I'm not sure if I should. Pretty big uprising. Will they be supported against? Will the Germans side against them? Will others join? Potentially? Wait a minute. Did they just get free? No, they're actually having a war. They're actually having a war here. Okay, well. 
France, you're kind of in a bad situation from the looks of it. Well, there's the dreadnought in the year 1900. Yeah, France is taking this back. I could have probably helped Brittany, but I'm not exactly in the financial position to do much. And meanwhile, the French secession is actually happening from the looks of it. Yep, there that goes. Okay, well, I thought I told you to chill. You did not chill, and so now you die. The Communist Party is in charge. Fine. And now it's time for war. You shouldn't have done that. You really shouldn't have. The French didn't come to help you French separatists because they just had to deal with their own little civil war. This was completely unnecessary. Now, so many men had to die. For what? For what? For you to just do this, French rebels? And there it is. Once again, the French rebellion crushed. We're still losing so much money. I think, I think we actually need to go and reduce our military still further. Because this whole thing is just not looking so good for us. Hold on. The rebellion changed all of the stuff with my glassworks again. Are you kidding me? You pricks! Yeah, and my, uh... My standard of living is just dropping more and more and more. I'm actually losing GDP, I'm losing all of this. Because even though I have the population, even though I'm producing all this stuff, what's happening is I just, I have too much. Alright, and that should keep them happy for a while. So all the laborers and machinists should become more loyal, which is exactly what we want. Fantastic. There we go, now our loyalists outnumber the radicals. We did it! It took like three years and another civil war, but we, we actually took care of it. Well, everyone, I think that that is pretty much it. It is 1903. Uh, World War has not exactly broken out because I don't think it's going to happen because France got kind of humiliated. I'm very curious here, actually, because the United States is taking over large swaths of Africa. We, with a significantly smaller military, managed to completely cuck over France, so that was lovely. I'm also wondering what it is that I should do next. At this point, there's really not much else that I can do because anything that I do is going to result in a massive war that I simply can't afford right now. But Belgium is now the powerhouse that it was always meant to be. Oh, wait, nope. Final thing. Final thing we can do before I just go ahead and end it. It will destroy my economy, but end customs union. There you go. Belgium now raising up to be the fifth ranking great power of the world. Only behind France, Britain, Austria, and Italy. We have the smallest population, but we have one of the highest GDPs. Actually, our GDP dropped rather suddenly because we had to delete a whole bunch of buildings that just were not very useful at all for overall economy. And you can actually see what that did there. By leaving the customs union, we went from a plus 50,000 positive to a minus 251,000 negative deficit. Because now we are in our own Belgian market, which does not have a demand for the majority of the goods that we are producing. Instead, we are way, way behind everything for sulfur and everything else. You know, in the future, you, you could possibly do, if you don't want to shoot for that great power, stick with the customs union. If not, what you're going to end up having to do if you really want to be on that great powers list is you're pretty much going to have to go about it naturally to leave the custom union early enough because otherwise by the time that you actually leave, if you get kicked out, your market will be completely screwed. All of your businesses will be based around something that you will not be able to produce stuff for. It's like living in an area where you're, you know, producing salt to ship, but then all of a sudden someone gets their own supply of salt and you're like, I, I, I don't have anything else here. The only thing I had was salt. In my case, it was textiles and furniture and everything else. Yeah, no one wants that anymore. In fact, I produce so much that within my own market, what was once 50 pounds is now seven. But I will go ahead and end things there for today because I think that that is a rather amusing end. I will see you all here next time. I appreciate all of you. Please let me know down in the comment section below what it is that we should do next. This was a lot of fun. It was a lot of pain, a lot of everything. And I'm definitely going to learn and get better with more stuff over time, just as I'm sure all of you will as well. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, guys.